Okay, the first chorus section that we're going to take a look at is uh, basically the same as the intro when it gets a bit heavier. So uh, let me just play that for you and then uh, I'll, we'll do a reminder. Okay, so uh, we've got the volume all the way up on the guitar, uh, just down picking on the low E string, then third fret up to the sixth fret on the low E, down to the first fret, third fret, first fret, and then open again. Okay, um, the second chorus is exactly the same as that, but it's double the length, and uh, it adds some octave slides in there as well, so let's see how that sounds. Okay, as you can see, the single note part of the riff is exactly the same as what we've looked at before, uh, except we're going to start using these uh, octave shapes um, from the 5th fret of the A string moving up. So we've got 5th fret A, 7th um, fret on the G, then up to the 8th fret on the A, 10th fret on the G, then 10th fret A, 12th fret on the G, then 12 on the A, 14 on the G, slide into uh, 13A, 15G, and then down again uh, to the position before, so 12A, 14G. Okay, and you're just going to slide them up. So basically the, uh, the, te the technique behind that is to play the slide, uh, sorry, play the octave shape, then slide, then pick again, and then slide, then pick. So you've got... Okay, so a slow tempo in, con in conjunction with that other riff should sound like this. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the first interlude in the song, which comes after the first chorus and before the second verse, and it goes like this. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're taking the same riff that we've seen uh, in the verse sections, uh, but then you just basically heavy up the last four notes. Okay, so that's a barred third fret on the low E in the A. Barred fifth fret, first fret, and then open, and then a dead stop, and then the uh, the second verse kicks in. So at a slow tempo, it should look like this. <laughs> 